サイコー,サイコークルーザー Hey folks, I thought I'd give you a little update on my 2011 Honda CBR 250R. I've owned it a little over three and a half months so far and I racked up close to 1900 miles. And I'll tell you, I really, really think this bike is awesome. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed riding this bike around town and on long trips. The last long trip I took on this bike was out to the Amish country out in Millersburg, Ohio. It's roughly about a 160 mile round trip ride. And、uh, I tell you, I, I thoroughly enjoy taking this bike out there. So, for those of you who say that this bike is not a, a good touring bike, you're wrong. This bike is an awesome touring bike.、Um, like I said, the, the seating position is very comfortable. This bike is very light, nimble. I mean, you can throw this bike around twisties, you know, like nothing. And also, the fuel efficiency on this bike is absolutely fantastic. My best tank is 88 miles per gallon, and I'm averaging about 80 miles per gallon on this bike. And it only costs eight bucks to fill the tank up on this bike. I mean, you can literally get up to 270 miles before the tank goes dry on this bike. This bike is just an economical bike to own. I mean, you, you can't beat it. I mean,、uh, you don't have to get a valve adjustment until 16,000 miles.、Uh, the insurance is only 100 bucks a year, with,、uh, at least for me, with Progressive. And hey, it's a good looking bike. I've gotten many compliments on this bike so far. I mean, just the other day, a guy pulled up next to me on a BMW motorcycle, and、uh, he was telling me, you know, the bike looked cool, and he was asking a couple of questions about it. And、uh, yeah, he was really impressed with the bike. As far as cons for the bike, I would say,、uh, you know, this bike is a 250, and it does require more shifting、um, as opposed to like the 600s or the bigger bikes, where you can probably cruise around town in third gear. I mean,、uh, but I've gotten used to the bike, so it doesn't bother me at all. And、uh, I, actually, I actually love this bike. It's, to me, it's fun around town because it, it makes you feel like you're going faster than you are. And you're usually, you know, just you know, doing the speed limit or a little bit more than the speed limit. I'm sure if I was on a bigger bike, I'd probably have a bunch of speeding tickets and the bike impounded by now. So, I mean, this bike is, I guess, has saved me a ton of money, not only on maintenance costs, but on,、uh, you know, speeding tickets and, and impound fees. <laughs> Another con that I noticed is this bike can be slightly sluggish on steep inclines, but,、uh, you know, nothing too bad. For those of you that are interested in the durability of Plassy Dip, I've had Plassy Dip on my motorcycle rims for a little over three months, and I've had absolutely no problems. As you can see here, I don't even have so much as a nick. Or mark on my rims.、Uh, so, for those of you who want to save a lot of money instead of powder coating your rims for three or four hundred bucks, you can go ahead and plasti dip them for like、uh, you know twenty bucks. And、uh, whenever you want to sell your bike, you can just go ahead and peel the plasti dip off and you'll have new rims again. Also, plasti dip the heat shield on the exhaust and also the windscreen, as you can see. And I don't even have so much as a mark on those items either. Actually, the plasti dip on the windscreen will actually even protect the, the windscreen from cracking. So, but you know, when I, if I ever sell this bike, I can peel the Plasti Dip off the wheels, windscreen, and heat shield, and this bike is completely stock again. All in all, I'm very satisfied with this bike. I really do enjoy riding this bike, and I plan on owning it for a long time. I really have no desire to move up to a bigger bike, to be honest with you.、Um, you know, this bike is really all that I need to cruise around town and on long trips. You know, as far as、uh, you know, trying to be macho on a bike,、uh, you know, that's totally not me. I definitely, you're talking about somebody that cruised around on a 150cc Chinese scooter around town until it broke down. I actually went to the dealership to, to buy a scooter when I bought this bike, but this bike was actually cheaper than getting a Honda SH150. If I ever do buy a second motorcycle, it's definitely going to be a dirt bike. I mean, it's always been a dream of mine since I was a kid. I love to be able to just get out there in the field and, and haul ass and, and、uh, you know, hit some dirt jumps or. Whatever, and just,、uh, just have a good time. Hey, I'll catch you on my next update. Until next time, folks.